TurboZone is presented by Team MMPI, Toyota, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Yamaha, Suzuki, Subaru, Ford, Shark Accessories, Clean Echo, Max's Tires, and Fifi Hotel Beach Resort in Morong Bataan. Beside me is our new CX-30. CX-30 was introduced in globally in the world late last year. Some countries October, we launched in November. So it's uh, been delightful. Customers really like it. It's very beautiful. And we believe, of course, that it's the most beautiful crossover in the market today. The CX-30 is the second generation of the Sky Active, second generation. The Skyactiv came to the market, Mazda brought up right on with the CX-5 in 2012 and it has won a lot of awards since then with all the cars that came out from the Skyactiv Kodo design which is the Mazda 6, the Mazda 2 and then the Mazda 3. The Mazda 3 is also part of the next generation together with the CX-30. What does that mean? It means that they've evolved the engineering. What the customers and the public see is that it's a very beautiful design which is true. It's always been on like the World Car of the Year Design Awards, Master 3, CX-30 and the others. But the engineering has also evolved. It's a much more elegant styling inside and outside. What the designer wants to do is to minimize the visual pollution. So what you see is a very well, high quality crafted interior and exterior with very minimalistic design. That means no sharp edges, no dramatic design. but everything flows beautifully. For example, you know, we launched the Mazda 3 in 2014 and to now, people still say that it's very modern, very nice and still very up-to-date, one of the best looking cars on the road. So, beautiful designs are like this, they're very long-lasting. It doesn't just impress you for three months or six months. They will continue to be beautiful year after year. And that's the base beauty about Mazda designs. CX-30 sits in between the entry crossover for Mazda, which is CX-3, and appeal to a very specific market. It's a small crossover with a 2-litre engine with all-wheel drive. There are very few all-wheel drive small crossover in the market. I talk about CX-3 because the CX-3 is the starting point of that. So CX-3 uh, appeals to very young profile customers that are all mostly driven by themselves. They're likely to be small, they like it to be stylish, they like it to be beautiful, they want it to be different. CX-30 that is slightly smaller than CX-5, larger than CX-3, it's almost a substitute for like either CX-3 is too small and the CX-5 is a little big, then the CX-30 fits in really well in the space. The interior is very spacious, it doesn't look very big from the outside, which is what they like. They like it to be very stylish, elegant, modern vehicle, which it is. Uh, you drive it, you feel very proud of it. But the beauty of CX-30 is how it drives. It's a beautiful car to drive. It's really premium and therefore CX-30 has elevated the brand to be more and more premium as time goes on. So CX-30 is 2 litre, just the right engine, 155 horsepower, available all-wheel drive. There's also two-wheel drive, there's sunroof. But the most appealing part of CX-30 is not just the outside, it's really the interior. The sound is wonderful sound. It's custom design sound system. It don't have to have Bose. It has Bose, but even the Master Harmonic is one of the best sound system already in the market today. This is a really great time to have an interest in Master. Our vehicle now is complete with the CX-30 and CX-8. It's a great time to celebrate with Master. Just do a test drive. Come into any of the showroom, we have five showroom in Metro Money.
now sa Victory Party ng uh, Yamaha Racing. So, this is the culmination of all the racing activities that we did for the year. So, we'll be uh, awarding all those riders na nagkaroon ng uh, magandang achievement ngayong taon. This year, we are very blessed kasi hindi lang namin na-dominate yung uh, national racing, kundi naging champion din tayo sa international racing scene. So, tayo ang unang Pilipino na nag-champion sa ARC sa Asian Road Racing Championship with our Vero McKinley Kelpas. So, right now that we already tasted the victory, so we will not stop. Actually, we would like to make this uh, bigger. We would like to make uh, Yamaha Racing bigger for this year. We would like to uh, support more riders locally para mahanap na natin yung mga susunod natin na develop into an international racing uh, app. We uh, introduced the lineup of our riders that will be competing with Yamaha this year. Some of those riders are our uh, candidate to be the next ARC rider for the following year. For the ARC, we will be uh, starting by March. Yung uh, actual racing, kaya as early as this month. Actually, pagtapos ito, baka next week, we will already start our uh, training for uh, McKinley Kyle Pass, Masato Fernando, and the new rider that we'll be bringing in in ARC. So for the local racing scene naman, ongoing na, they're already practicing para dun sa mga upcoming races natin. Sniper 150 yan. For this uh, last year, napatunayan niya yung uh, performance niya, yung advanced technology niya, kung uh, gano'n siya kalakas pagdating sa karera. So uh, yun nga, using the Sniper 150, makinli Kyle Pass was able to get the overall championship uh, last year for the ARRC. You will be seeing this model all throughout the year on different races all over the Philippines. For all the Yamaha racing fans, please watch out for the upcoming races of Yamaha, especially for our uh, 2020 campaign for the Asia World Racing Championship. The latest announcement and details, you can uh, visit our website, www.yamaha-motor.com.ph and we also have a Facebook page on Yamaha Motor Philippines. Narito po tayo sa makasaysayang siyudad ng Maykawayan, sa Bulacan, para sa pagtatunover ng ikatatlong batch ng turnover ng Isuzu Philippines Corporation sa Pasang Mazda. This is the modern Isuzu PUB based on the QKR77 na platform. This is Class 3 and vehicle can accommodate 23 passenger all seating. It's a very special turnover because today we were graced by the presence of Secretary Tugradi as well as Chairman Degra as well as Mayor Bidjarica of uh, Make Hawaiian Bulacan. This is well supported by the transport cooperatives around Bulacan. The vehicle will be flying the route of uh, Make Hawaiian to Malolos and vice versa. This delivery is a good sign that Isuzu new PUV is moving forward and that the transport group and riding public is already experiencing the benefit and comfort and convenience of riding the modern Isuzu PUVs. The vehicle QKR is equipped with the 4JH1 common rail direct injection Isuzu diesel engine that is Europort compliant and it's known to be very durable, very dependable and very fuel efficient. The PUV that is being turned over today are complies with the requirement of uh, the PUB modernization program, uh, the Omniboom Franchising Guidelines, it has air conditioning, it has power doors, it has Wi-Fi, GPS, it has CCTV camera, auto pair collection system, and many more accessories that are being required to help the riding public as well as the driver to have a more comfortable, more durable riding and riding condition. Also today, we took the opportunity of introducing our Institute Travis with Class 1 PUB. 
been one of our very best prototype and soon it will be available in the market. Class 1 is designed for 13 passengers and designed for short distance routes. Hopefully this will also be used in many of the narrow streets around the Philippines. The vehicle is 4.5 meters in length. The interior height is about 1.5 meters. We are very happy to bring back the Ford JA1. It's now designed to meet the latest in emission compliance, which is Europort. So all these are indications of Isuzu support to the PUB modernization program. We will continue supporting this because the program will actually help our riding public have a more comfortable, dependable, and convenient mode of transportation. We would like to thank Paso Mazda for their continued trust on Isuzu PUBs. We are confident that aside from providing our continuous with more durable, comfortable, and safe transport solution, we also guarantee to Paso Mazda that we will be providing the best service maintenance they need. photography uh, well but without breaking their back. As we continuously learning from our market and our audiences what they really need, that's why we launched this Realme 5i to the 5 series because continuously it's uh, the quad camera setup and also this is the first smartphone that with the price range of 6,990 pesos but it's powered by the Snapdragon 6. AI processor. This is the first time that we introduce such a powerful processor into such a price point. Right now you can see that on my hands I have the aqua blue and the forest green Realme 5i launching uh, today and we are proud to say that it's available starting from tonight. Actually January 30th the mid top midnight we start to have the first first sale and also our flash sale from Shopee and also the uh, for our offline nationwide Realme 5 i will be available starting from the February 1st. I would like to introduce the Realme fans and uh, all the, our audiences to follow us on the Facebook and also join the Facebook official Realme community together to enjoy the first dip of our discounts, of our promotion and of our activities. This is the X-Max, designed using pure T-Max DNA, following the signature boomerang motif, dynamic looks, and premium finish. The testament of luxurious performance, 
ride with refined motion and boundless capacity. The engine. The 300cc liquid-cooled blue core engine features optimized valve shapes, a compact combustion chamber, and idealized timing. These reduce power loss and increase efficiency for better performance. Wide less tube tires. Specially designed for better grip on wet or dry surfaces equipped with ABS, giving you a maximum braking control complemented by both front and rear desk brakes for superior stopping power. Smart Key Activate your X-Max with a keyless ignition system. Unlock the steering, seat, fuel tank, and compartment. Also, you can conveniently locate your unit with a press of a button. Multifunctional speedometer. The black and white tachometer is themed after the T-Max DNA, giving you a clear and class display with a center section for additional information. Electric power socket. Practical and functional feature allows you to charge devices on the move. Large underseat storage. The compartment is equipped with internal LED lighting and gives you enough space for two full-face helmets. Adjustable windshield. This can be raised 50 millimeters higher for more protection from wind, deflect debris, and for more aerodynamic leverage. Full LED lighting. The front and rear LED lighting projects bright beams that give excellent clarity on the road. The daytime running light on both ends make you more visible. These use less electrical power, making the engine run more efficiently. Adjustable handlebar. This can be adjusted 20 millimeters closer depending on your riding preference, suiting your style and comfort for optimal riding. Traction control system. This electronic system prevents the rear tire from losing traction when the sensors detect any slip an advancement that keeps you safe and confident on non-firm surfaces. This year, you can now experience a premium sensation with new colors, Phantom Blue, and Worn Gray. It has an SRP of 249,000 pesos and is available at the Yamaha flagship shop, the Wiseo and Yamaha Rev Zones nationwide. Get yours now and feel the refined motion whenever you're on the road.